David Stones, one of the three David Stones in my area, so you can imagine the confusion. So, um, <laughs> so coming to Japan, there's no David Stones here anymore. That's very good, I suppose. I was uh, an apprentice ledger press printer. I did my apprenticeship and 60 something and I, I would like to go on a little bit of a trip. Everybody seemed to find their girlfriends, get married and be 21 or something like that at the same time. Don't forget 21 was the, um, you were an adult at 21. So I want to travel a little bit. Yes, so I took a three month sojourn through what was then Europe. A totally alien territory as far as we're concerned. No idea of what was going on. And I've been traveling ever since. Yes. Ironically, that is what I studied in England, was an apprentice printer. Uh, and so I had no idea about uh, what woodblocks were until I came to Japan and saw them. And another interesting, if you like to say, um, connection is I had a uh, stepfather's father was a woodcarver. I don't know why, I met him quite often and I was very interested in wood carving. The only thing with this is you can choose the texture of the wood, you can choose the design, I can control everything and um, it seemed to me fantastic. Uh, fortunate, just like that. Handmade process or hand done process or hands on process or whatever it is. Uh, I make it with these two hands and the brain, okay? And um, that's mine. And I think everybody's individual. They can probably make their own wood blocks, but they won't make exactly the same because they don't have the same considerations or maybe respect or whatever. I'm not sure. But you can copy. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a, a reproductive process. You you you're not printing only one. You're printing a hundred or maybe fifty or something. So it's reproduction, mass production in the old way. Saishou design wa korimasu. Wa sunna kare arimasu. Sunde kara hatte. Sunde kara. Uh, I, I would say designing especially and then the carving to get it right, yeah. And that's why I have a place which is relatively quiet, no music, no, no sort of... I have classical music sometimes, which is useful. But uh, actually the natural silence, you can't hear any birds at the moment, right? Very, very silent. That's perfect. Mm. How did you come to Japan in the first place? I came across the Soviet Union on the Siberian Express um, on my way back to Australia. So Japan was an unknown place on the other side. As I said, it is not as far south as I first thought and uh, well, I was waiting for a ship because I would travel everywhere by ship. And from Nahotka, you take, or you, they put you on a ship which pounded you with propaganda about the Soviet Union for two days and you arrived in Yokohama. Right. And so the comparison with the uh, uh, Soviet Union and Japan was quite <laughs> startling. I never met any Japanese people. As I said, England didn't, the education we didn't know anything about Japan. And I liked it. 
ブルーベリーマフィンを作りたいまだ冷凍庫に去年のブルーベリーが残ってるのそれで作りますよ Oh, yes, well, of course, for my wife, of course,、uh, who's been very patient. And of course, there's only two of us, so we do everything mostly together anyway. So, whether it's house repairs or, or whatever. But I don't do too much on the domestic side. Apologies for that. <laughs> but, <laughs>、uh, but a cooperation, that's, that's、uh, very much. And then from other artists who, who give、um, encouragement. And I wish people had learned today. Uh, you just meet people and you take them for what they are and、uh, you carry on. You don't argue or try and change their opinions, you, you just survive, live together. If you come to my house, unfortunately, you have to sit on the tatami. But there are chairs in the other room for, for people. So, but the whole house,、uh, I'm English, but this is a Japanese house and I, I like it. And it's my house.、Um, if you don't like it, well, sorry, I'm not going to get angry. And that's what I learned. Ichiban Mondai wa design no. ボーイのキャメラかどういう最初の考え方それから北の信号と入り込んでしまったらもう設置しまうそこのとこ間違いましたそれから北信号とやりながらあまり横ないんですよこれ掘りながら別の考えとかアイディアも出るんですよはい。I couldn't live in Kyoto because the rules of living in Japan and everything were quite different. And so I went from Nagoya to、uh, Kyoto once a month on the bus. And I wrote down all the questions I wanted to ask. Now, don't forget, he couldn't speak English、mm. and I couldn't speak Japanese. So it was quite difficult. All these little tips and all these little hints the teachers and various people have given me. So, always take my notebook, always write down. And then on the way back on the bus, which took about three hours in those days, I would write the answers down. Now, how do I know all this? I should have bought a little book. My teacher actually、um, he published a book on woodblock printing, which I found in the bookstore. It's no longer available, but、uh, I used it as a sort of guide. And that's the reason I think I went. At the back of the book, it says, if anybody is interested in woodwork printing, please contact the author. Well, most people don't read that and they don't. Well, I did. So I think that's where I made my first connection. I'm very hazy on that because I just come to Japan and I'd been here a year or so, and well,、uh, lots of things were new.、Mm. But then I noticed as my Japanese got a little better. Uh, I could go to exhibitions and I made friends with woodblock people. You could learn about woodblock print in England if you wanted to. I mean, are the, are the processes different or would they be quite similar? No, the, the printing, there's no baron. They would use a press, okay, but then、uh, you can use a spoon, you can use any of the, all sorts of、um, roller, people use rollers or whatever, whatever、uh, gets the effect you want to do. Um, I did notice when I went to England this last time,、uh, um, they're using, a lot using a press which keeps the pressure,、uh, or you can adjust the pressure, I suppose. But then also you can reprint the same one with the register marks locked into it somehow. But that 
that seems to be touching on the mechanical uh, use. So this thing, again, I said, it's you just need your two hands and the basic tools. So this this thing here, uh, which is the Baron, I think is a fantastic uh, development. It actually is 40 layers of thin mineral paper or very, which are lacquered together. Okay, so it's a, it's a lock on. And then bamboo, this is a giant bamboo. There's a, there's a, inside there's a, a bamboo string, which goes around and around and around like this, you know. And so you've got different textures from that. And then on the outside, you've got the bamboo itself. We, I get this from, uh, believe it or not, from the butcher's supplies. Mm. They've gone back to using, some have gone back to using bamboo uh, to, to uh, pack their meat or whatever, as far as I know, not everywhere, but anyway. So that's all I can replace is this thing, which is, as you can see, it's not, not, not so good now. And this will last for as long as I want. It was, it was made for my hand because the one thing that teacher noticed, my hands were very large compared to Japanese. Um, so he said, so I can cover quite a different thing. It's, it's, it's quite um, well, a versatile tool. But now we've lost the people who make them. The, the, the plates, okay. Uh, that's a, a serious loss. So as I say, no, no, not many block makers, if any, okay. Nobody baron makers, if any. Paper's okay because it's become popular around the world. And uh, the inks, as I say, pigment inks uh, are also uh, okay. But, uh, and then I say, it looks like you have to have a carpenter friend like me to, to make your blocks or something. Right. So. Luckily, I know lots of carpenters, so I'm very happy. <laughs>
It's a full cycle. Mm. Yeah. これは終えたよ。小さいなものを見つけたんだから知らないうちにまあ終えたんでしょう。感覚はな変でしょ。これがもう40年前か。ここあったんですよ。まあうちの木だ。でな。これご飯美味しいですね。<笑>これ食いの木。これで梅酒作るは、多少色があるものをダメしますよ。<笑>はいはいはい。Do you get inspiration from where you live now? Oh, of course, yes, yes. And of course, surrounded by nature, you are ruled by it. You have to learn who the boss is, okay? And it's not human. So if we don't learn that, we're in a sorry state. But one thing I'll tell you. The world will continue with us or without us. Out there is a fantastic system which we really should study. And I repeat myself if you don't know what to do and you don't know where to go and you're all mixed up, just look out the window and look at this out there. Nobody can make it.、Uh, it's there. And we must take care of it. But if we don't, It will destroy us and it will continue. No problem. The whole thing is, is, is as I said, go and look out the window.、Uh, I don't see trees rushing to, to、uh, get taller or the flowers rushing to bloom.、Uh, it all happens, over, and you can see it. these flowers are, weren't out yesterday or half of them weren't, and they are gone within the week. So, so you know, you learn that. We may be, I don't know if you've learned, we may be are learning that、uh, it's not speed or haste or you know, whatever, it's, it's just. okay. So、um, I'm very impressed that that's what happens in this countryside. I know it's idyllic, people say that you have to think like that. But、uh, I think we humans have, have gone beyond always trying to go faster, always trying to go. I don't know what reason we're going in there for. So maybe I should just, you know, put it on a computer and let it route it out and print them off on the press and I can have a hundred prints by next week. No. Where's the human part?、Mm. Where's the human part? Yeah. Yes. Well, I have a great respect for, for trees. I'm, I'm, I'm planting trees. As many trees as I've used, I've planted. And more besides,、uh, because, well, I believe we should replace what we use. I would never, if possible, cut、uh, down a tree.、Uh, I think that's abominable. But then, on the other hand, we, we have the forests which have grown for 60 years or so, and they, they are, their purpose is to supply trees.、Okay? And also, trees get too big for themselves and they fall.、Uh, so, we have a.、Um, Uh, responsibility, probably. And that's what's missing now in the Satayama area, if you like, areas. The older people who said, hey, that tree's too big, you know, it's going to fall down、uh, or it's going to cause some problem, they would then cut certain parts. So I will get advice this next winter to trim, cut, or to well, manage. Trees which have gone beyond their,、uh, which was a natural limit, <laughs> if there is one. But here it was cut, but here it was cut. The nature was strong. Never give up. 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 So, again, all I say is respect your materials and don't waste them.、Mm. This lady here. Can remember electricity coming here, okay? And me, 
who was, uh, was modern by that age, I was horrified at the electric wires everywhere and the telephone poles and the, it was just, just terrible. But she was so pleased. What is an aluminium pole here? We've got lights that don't need to... And they were using these oil lamps, you know, in this place, in a wooden house, even a, wooden, a thatched house, right? So, so it was. I learned an awful lot from this this lady there. Yeah, a good experience, very good experience. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, they all left and went down to the to the modern house. She's still up there in her uh, site over there. She would. Uh, they would cut the rice and dry it on like this. And then they would carry the rice to the bottom of the hill, the, 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 the already um, harvested rice, just the stalks, and give it or sell it to the wall makers who used to make the earth walls, you see, with, with that. So I thought I'd have a go at this, you know, and, and see what I could do. And she's only about, or was only about, I could go as high, maybe. And there was this great big thing up here, you know. And, and and I stood up, but I didn't realize this was quite heavy, so I immediately fell backwards. And I was up in the air like this, and I couldn't do anything. <laughs> couldn't stand up, or couldn't get up. Like one of those beetles you put on its back, you know. Oh, I have never heard a lady laugh so much in all her life. Yes, uh, she did help me up. A little lady like that pull, pulled me up there. And she did this all day for two or three or four days, up to here, down to the bottom. So those are the people you probably don't meet yet, but they are invaluable sources of, of, uh, of uh, sort of encouragement. What do you think about uh, craftsmanship <laughs> in the 21st century? I, I think it's being appreciated here in Japan. I think it's being appreciated more 